you're going to read the description to find out what all tools that you need, or you're going to have the heckling crowd remind you that you need to tell everybody on the video that this is a 13, 30 seconds, 14, 17, 3,000 bit drill going in at an angle, not straight. Got that? Yeah, me too. Let's drill. Hey y'all, Emily here from The Way We Hunt. Look what I have here. This is a bait cannon. You wanna know how to build it? I'm gonna show you. We're here with our friends from Woods to Table in North Carolina. They taught me all the stuff about bait cannons so I could teach you about bait cannons. Stay tuned, you get to watch the build and you get to watch us come out here to the beach and set it off. So watch, like, subscribe, comment, and let's get to building. Today we are in Ocean Isle, North Carolina with our friends Woods to Table. If you remember, we brought them down to Texas and we went on a pig hunt. If you haven't seen that, you need to go back and watch it. If the video's up, I'm not sure if Ryan's done that or not yet. Anyway, we decided to come to their home turf in North Carolina and they're gonna teach us all about crabbing. But before we do that, we are gonna build a bait cannon. Disclosure. I have no idea what I'm doing. If you try this at home and it blows up on you, we ain't responsible, that's on you, boo. All right, so we are going to start putting it together. We're gonna to take it out, we're gonna test it, and we're gonna see what happens, and hopefully we don't die. The first thing that we need is PVC pipe. This is Schedule 40 PVC pipe. It is very heavy duty. It's scheduled and rated for high pressure instances, such as a bait cannon, or for other purposes for your home, or whatever. I don't do plumbing or home building or anything like that. I just know that you need something thick. So this is inch and a half, Schedule 40 PVC, and the big pipe, four inches. That's important when you're making this, apparently. That's what I'm learning, okay? So I'm learning with y'all as I build this. I'm one of those people that I have to do to retain the knowledge, so I'm gonna do. Well, here are all of our pieces that we're gonna use to build this pipe. There's really not much that goes into it. You don't need that many pieces. One thing that is important is primer and heavy duty clear PVC cement. Another thing that's important about those two items is when you build this, you're gonna to have to let it sit and cure for about 48 hours before you take it out because if you don't and you take it out, it's not gonna be sealed and it could be disastrous for you. So make sure that when you do this, you gotta kinda of plan ahead. Now, what I'm gonna do first is we've already marked this four inch PVC pipe. We're gonna cut a 36 inch piece manually. Straight lines are probably important. This is gonna be a disaster because everything I always do is a disaster. So let's see what happens. This is gonna take forever. Eventually. Just that little piece. Rotate. Yeah. Our next step is gonna be to take this couplet collar. It started with a C. I was so close. <laughs> I'm gonna prime the inside, then I'm gonna glue it, then I'm gonna stick it on the ends. Just get all up in there. That's all primered, and that doesn't take very long to set. By the time I get this screw back on talking to y'all, get the cement open, the primer's gonna be ready to go. Yeah, primer's gonna be ready to go. Oh my gosh. It's cement in on. I need assistance. All right, guys, doing the same thing with the PVC cement. All right, you wanna make sure that you get this seated on nice and tight. And that's that. So one portion of this is done. Let's move on to the next step. All right, so we're gonna take this one and a half inch PVC pipe and I'm gonna cut off a six inch, six inch section. Oof, say that five times fast, I can't. And it's gonna go in the other end and then we're gonna do another end piece. You'll, you'll understand when we get there. 
But I just gotta cut this. And Ryan wants to film it again and watch me work and sweat my butt off in North Carolina. So I thought that one was gonna be a disaster. This one was a disaster. It's not bad though. It works. All right, we're gonna set this to the side, set this to the side, and we're gonna start putting more of our Tetris puzzle together. <laughs> Should be done with the saw now. Thank you. <laughs> Athens our gaffer today. Assistant, that's right. Yeah. Keeping it clean over here. All right, we're gonna take our bushel bushing. <laughs> we're gonna take our bushing, and what I didn't do on this side after I thought about it and was told about it is I didn't take the primer and prime both the inside and outside of the pieces that were going together, so I'm gonna do that real fast. Do the same thing with this. It's like painting for adults. Yeah. Now we're gonna take our cement and we can go and glue this stuff together. Not that much, that's a lot. That's why we have a drop cloth. Get all up in there. Put the two pieces together. Boom. Just like that. This reducer is gonna go in this other piece. All of the specs are gonna be in the description because I can't remember numbers and I don't do math. So we're gonna write that down below so you know exactly what you need to go to Lowe's or Atwood's or wherever you shop to get the right parts. And then we're just gonna do the same thing again. Primer, cement, primer, cement. favorite part. Awesome. It is coming together. All right. Now, what we want to do is the end cap. End cap is going to go on the end of the PVC and then we're going to take this valve stem and that's going to go inside that and that's what the air goes into that. Does that make sense? <laughs> You'll see what happens at the end. So much pressure and so many people here. And I have power tools. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, let's make holes. That sounded weird, sorry. I'm not gonna put this right on the top. I'm gonna kind of make it the hole to the side of the end cap. <laughs> I put a hole in the end cap, cleaned it out. Now we're gonna take the valve stem and we're gonna put the valve stem in because we gotta you know, fill it with compressed air and all that kind of good stuff. But before I put the valve stem in the end cap, I'm gonna put cement glue on it just to make sure that everything is sealed because once we put this end cap on, it's not coming off. Go in the hole. Is it this the right way? That's yeah, the right way. <laughs> all right, so now that's through. Put the washer back. Tighten it all down. Make sure that you put the end cap on and don't lose that. So we're gonna take this uh, inch and a half piece of PVC that we cut to about six inches. It can be shorter, I think, but that's what we did. That's what I cut. I'm gonna do the same thing. Primer, cement, push in, twist, seal that in. This is going to attach to our trigger mechanism. Oh, all over my hand again. Glue. Oh, glue. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> We're going to push that in and we're going to twist. Make sure it's all the way down. I don't think that I should probably beat this one on the table. On to the next piece. The trigger. Alright, can you guys see that? It's closed. You're going to have that closed when you air up the tube. And then it's a trigger because it opens and it releases the pressure and your bait comes out the end. This is gonna go right here. There it goes right now. Purple that up inside. Is that good? Can you see that? All the purple. More cement. Oh. 
Use your white. <laughs> Yeet. Yeet. <laughs> So the very last piece of this, besides the barrel, is going to be the end cap. We put the valve stem on. I'm going to do the same thing that I've been doing. I'm going to primer and I'm going to seam it. What I just learned is when you primer, you don't want the primer to set and dry. You want to get it primered in and then glue. Well, I should probably show the camera. And then put the glue on immediately. Doing, doing it. Doing it fast. Doing it fast. Okay. Yes. So much pressure, all the glue, everything's still wet. Get that done. Get that out of the way. And cap goes on. I think that's on. I think that's good. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the bait cannon. Putting it together. The barrel is actually just going to have a hole drilled in the side of it and then a hole drilled here. You're going to put a set screw in. The reason you do that instead of gluing it in is because look how this is quite long and cumbersome. <laughs> and if you're like in the rental like we're still in, this isn't going to fit. So you want to be able to take it apart and travel with it easier. So that's pretty much it y'all. All right guys, so we're past the 48 hours that I suggested, and we are going to drill our holes for our set screws, our set screw. And this is what we came up with, this little tiny screw, not tiny. It will go through this, this portion of the PVC right here. We will take our barrel and we'll do a little, like, it, like the hole won't go all the way through just enough that it has something to set against because we want this tight. Heard that this is not a necessary step, but we're gonna try it and see if it works and hopefully it does. It's me and power tools, so we might not get to use it. <laughs> Instead of drilling the hole the same size as the screw, we're gonna start with a smaller drill bit to get it started. Let's see what happens. I think I did okay. <laughs> then we'll move up a drill bit size to make the hole the right size for the screw. Oh gosh. I did it. <laughs> now I gotta clean it out. All right, so we're gonna take the barrel. I'm gonna stick it in this piece right here that we just drilled in. Once I get it in there set, I'm gonna mark it, pull it out, and then I'm gonna drill just enough that screw bites into the barrel. I'm just gonna take the other drill bit, and I'm just gonna mark where it scratches the paint enough that I have an indicator where to drill. I'm gonna pull it out, and we're gonna make quasi hole. Oh man, look at there. There, that's tight. So we could probably cut this, the length of the screw down. We just don't have the tools here and this is the best that we could come up with here in Ocean Isle, North Carolina. But this is the finished product, y'all. Look how pretty it is. So, all right, y'all, the next time that you see us, we are gonna be trying this out, out in the ocean. My bait cannon's bigger than your bait cannon.